and Scribes Creative Workshop presents... Pappy Land! Featuring Pappy Joy in his house! Did you ever want to paint? Did you ever want to draw? Did you ever want to recreate anything at all? Well, now you can in Pappy Land. That's where we are today. Where anything can happen. Cause Pappy Drew it that way. Pappy, Pappy Drew it. He drew Pappy Land. And you. Hi, everybody. It's so good to welcome you to Pappy Land. <gasps> oh, my, wait. Oh. Grandpappy. Binky. <coughs> Lily. Oh, Pappy, what's happening? Lily, uh, this looks serious. Uh, Elmer, is this a joke? No joke today, Druitt. What you see is what you get. There is no color in Pappy Land. Uh, calm down, everybody. Uh, calm down. And uh, listen, the news. News bulletin. It was a beautiful, colorful day in Pappy Land as usual. And then, in just an instant, the color started fading. Fading? Oh, my. It's unbelievable. Everything in Pappy Land has gone black and white. <gasps> Look, Pappy. Even you're losing your color. The sky is gray. Everything is gray. <gasps> I don't know, Lily, but whatever it is, it's loose in Pappy Land and it's doing a lot of damage. Uh, Sonny, uh, it's the color taker. He hasn't been around since my day. Watch out, because he's one tough customer. He won't be satisfied until he takes all the color out of Pappy Land. You're right, Grandpappy, this is serious. A Pappy Land without color isn't a Pappy Land at all. Don't be afraid to stand up to him, Sonny. You need to get him back to the place he belongs. Color Mountain. Remember, don't let him scare you, Sonny. He just acts like a big bully. Thanks for the tip, Grandpappy. Come on, boys and girls. We better see if there's something we can do about this. We'll take the color copter and check this out. Hey, don't you mean the black and white copter, Pappy? Even the color copter has no color. You're right, Elmer. Uh, let's see if there's something we can do about this. We can't have a Pappy Land without color. I think if we get up high enough, we might find some color. There, that's better. Now let's see what's going on. Mmm, this spaghetti tastes so good. What's that? A cheese manicotti. Uh, 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 where did all the color go? Uh, this is a catastrophe. Uh, hey, where's my nice red spaghetti sauce? This is going to be one of my best paintings ever. Hey, what, what's that? What? My, my beautiful painting. What, what happened? Ah! I think this has gone on long enough. The color taker needs to understand that he can't take all the color away from everybody. Hey, you. What do you think you're doing? I'm just having lunch. Lunch? Don't you realize you're eating up all the color in Pappy Land? What business is that of yours? I'm Pappy, color taker, and I drew Pappy Land. With color, I might add. So what? Tell me why I should stop eating these delicious colors. Because colors belong to everyone, color taker. Colors make Pappy Land a beautiful place to live. Uh, the yellow sun, uh, the green grass, uh, the blue sky. Uh, colors are what artists use to make their creations. 
colors are what makes a rainbow so beautiful. And you don't have the right to take that away from us. Why should I care about that? I care about me and what I like. That's a very selfish attitude, color taker. I think you need to see a drawing to help you understand that being a bully is not right. Go ahead and draw. This I gotta see. Wow, this is serious, boys and girls. Okay, get your paper and your pencils handy because we're going to draw a special picture. All righty. We're gonna draw two dogs, a big dog and a little dog. And we'll start with the big dog over here to the left. All righty. I'm going to begin by drawing the big dog's ear. And that's a curve line. And bring it down. Bring another looping line up and then down like that. Good. Now let's put some hairs on his head. You can draw the hair on your dog's head any way you'd like. I'm gonna do three little whooping lines like that. And I'm gonna draw his other ear and bring it around. A looping line, a looping line, a looping line, another one, bring it up and down and stop right there. All right, now let's draw two eyes. One, two, two ovals, very good. And we'll draw an eyelid here and another eyelid right there. And let's put two little circles in the larger circles. One, two. All right, let's draw the big dog's nose. And he has a big nose. You can put a little nose on your dog, but I'm gonna put a big nose on the big dog. Here we go. Good. And we'll draw his mouth like that. And just a small curved line for his lower lip. And let's just draw another circle within that other circle. And when, when it's time to color, we'll color this dark and leave that highlight white, just the way it is. Now let's draw the dog's body. Well, bring this arm around, or this line around. This is gonna be his arm. So we drew a curved line. That's his elbow. And Starting right here, we'll do the same thing on the opposite side, like that. He has his arms folded. Good. Now, there's a, going to be a, there's going to be a dish, a dog dish right in front of him, so let's draw that. And that's an oval, a very long, flat oval like this, okay? And we'll just continue that and connect it like that. Okay. And now I'm gonna draw the other dog's head. Are you noticing that I take my time when I'm drawing? I like to think about what I'm doing and give myself time to get ideas. So if you wanna be good at something like drawing or dancing or playing an instrument, just remember to take your time, think about what you are doing, and practice. Now let's draw the ear on that side and the other ear on the opposite side. This dog is much smaller than the other dog. And again, two eyes, one oval and another oval, just like that. And let's just, again, draw two small curved lines for the eye, for the eyelids, excuse Pappy, the eyelids right here. Okay, hmm, let's put three hairs on his head. Now let's put two hairs on his head. One, two. <laughs> All righty, now let's draw the little dog's nose and that's another oval like so. And we'll just put another small curve line right there. And again, two little circles within the larger circles for his eyes. Now, let's put one curve line here for his cheek and another curve line there for the opposite cheek. And we're gonna put a smile on his face. 
The thing I like about a smile is that the curve line curves upward, it goes down, but then it goes back up to make a happy, happy face. Very good. Let's draw a line right there. All righty. And this will be the dog's shoulder, one there and another one right there. Now let's draw that oval for his dish. And just like so. And stop right there. Connect it here. Do the same on the other side. And bring that around. Good. Now let's draw a bone inside that dish. The little dog has a very large bone inside the dish. And it probably, probably looks delicious to this little dog. And I'll bet that big dog <laughs> wouldn't mind having a big bone like that. Now I see three little dots that would be right on that side of his cheek and three more dots on the other side, just like so. And those will be his whiskers. Good. Okay. Oh, how about a couple eyebrows right here? One there and a small one right there. Well, we've got to put one more line to show that the, that the dishes are on a table. So I like to just draw a straight line right about there and another one right there. That's a continuation of this line behind the dish and bring it outward from this point. And that'll finish our drawing. That looks good. If you need more time for your drawing, or if you'd like to add something special of your own, go ahead and take the time now. In the meantime, hey, picture, help me teach Color Taker an important lesson. Give me that. But you heard me. It's mine now. No, that's my bone, and I want you to give it back. That's more like it. You, you, you mean I'm mean like that big dog? No wonder I don't have any friends. But what am I going to do? Color is what I eat, and I'm hungry all the time. Then we need to get you back where you belong, to Color Mountain where colors are constantly overflowing, and, and you can eat all you want. Let me take you there. Uh, but first, you've got to give back all the color you took from Pappy Land. Okay, Pappy, but on one condition. What's that? If you'll agree to be my friend. It's a deal, CT. Okay, Pappy. Uh, see that switch? The one that says reverse? Yes, I, I see it now. So whenever you're ready. Well, here it goes. Wow, good work, color take, I mean color giver. How does it feel to be a nice guy? Great, Pappy. I never knew being nice could feel so good. I don't want to be a taker anymore. And now that I look at it, everything does look much better in color. Boy, this makes a great ending to our story. I bet singer song Sam could put it to music. Do you mean it? I sure do. Want to call for him? I'd be honored. Oh, sing a song. Let me tell you about a story from Pappy Land. When the kingdom was looking mighty bland. Buddy Bear was gray and Woodchuckles black. Pappy knew that the land was under attack. He grew. Pappy had seen this before. The color taker had come in days of yore. Grandpappy stood his ground and drew a line. And the color taker left for a long, long time. He left for a long, long time. Now the color taker returned from the mountaintop, eating all the colors. He would not stop till Pappy decided to stem the tide. He went out of the cabin for a copter ride. He went out for a copter ride. The color taker.
Tiger was big and very strong, but Pappy knew his place and right from wrong. The beast was firm and without fear, till Pappy drew first and made it very clear. He made Now the taker stopped and changed his ways and all the beauty returned in a glorious blaze. With the copter, Pappy took the beast away to the color mountain where he will stay to, to the, the mountain, mountain where he will stay. And all the colors come back to Pappy Land today. Thanks, Sam. That was a nice ballad. See you next time. My pleasure, Pappy. OK, CT, it's time to get going. I'll give you a lift back to Color Mountain. Thanks, Pappy. We're here at Color Mountain. It's right below us. Uh, I'll lower you down now. Thanks, Pappy. Now I can eat all the colors I want. See you again soon. Enjoy yourself. Come on, boys and girls. Time's a wasting. We got to go back to the cabin to color the picture we drew. Thanks, gang. But the important thing besides having the color back in Pappy Land is that we found a new friend. So now it's time to put some color into the drawing we drew. <laughs> so if you haven't done so yet, get your crayons or your markers ready. Or you can just watch and color with your imagination. Hey, Pap, I got one for you right out of my imagination. What's black and white and red all over? Uh, I don't know, Elmer. What's black? and white, and red all over. An embarrassed zebra. <laughs> Get it? An embarrassed zebra. Boy, I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Almer. Come on, kids. Let's get creative. All right. I think I'm going to start out by coloring in the dog's dish. And you can start anywhere you'd like. I'm starting on the dog dish. There we go. And notice I'm leaving this area alone. And I'll show you why as I continue to color in the rest, like so. And the inside, like that. There. By leaving this area, it looks like a shine, doesn't it? Now I think I'll use my green crayon for the other dog dish. There we go. And again, I'm leaving a very nice white area. I sure am glad that Pappy Land has its color back. I've dedicated my whole life to colors. That must have been some scare for you, Binky. Uh, that is, being a paintbrush like yourself. I don't know what I'd do if I had to paint in only black and white forever. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. The color taker came to his senses. Somehow, I always knew he was a good egg deep down inside. There we go. Now I think I'll color in the dog to the right here. The little dog. I'm going to use my bright golden 
yellow, like so, and just fill that right in. There we go. That's a nice color. Now I'm going to use my brown, my dark brown crayon to color in his floppy ears, just like this. There we go. And do the same on the other side. children make up a title for their drawing, Pappy. I love reading all the different titles they send in. So do I, Lily. Uh, does anyone have any ideas for naming this picture? I do, Pap. I'd call it, I've Got a Bone to Pick with You. Well, uh... I think we'd better leave the titles to the kids, Elmer. I think they'll come up with lots of delightful titles. I think you're right, Bink. Okay, let's continue here. Here we go. I'm going to start out with my purple. I'm using my imagination now, and I'm coloring this larger dog purple. That's the neat thing about your imagination. When you use it, you come up with some great colors. A purple dog. <laughs> it makes me giggle. All right, there we go. And I'm going to color his ears just like that and fill it right in. There we go. And now the other one. He's got a silly expression on his face. And his hair, right here. All righty, how about a black crayon to color in his nose? Just like so. There we go. There. There we go, good. And we'll do the same on the other little guy here. There we go. Hmm. Alrighty. Hmm, here's a nice color. I'm gonna I'm going to use it for the face on this big dog. Like so. Whoops. That be broke another crayon. But I love to continue. Whoops! Twice. That must be a record for Pappy. Two broken crayons, but I can still continue because it doesn't matter how big the crayon is. You can always use the side of your crayon. Now I think I'll use red for the eyelids, like so. There we go. Notice I'm leaving a little space in between again. That always makes it look shiny, doesn't it? And we'll do the same thing. There, that looks good. Hold your pictures up so I can see the fine work you've done. Nice, wow! Some of you use different colors. I like it when you use your imagination. Did you hear that? That's a very colorful sound, isn't it? It's time to visit the colorful creations you sent in to the Hall of Frames. Let's go there now. <laughs> Colorific! Look at all these beautiful, colorful drawings. I can't imagine them in black and white. Great pictures! If you'd like to send one to me, 
just mail it to the address at the end of the program. And be sure to include your name, age, and address. Hey, Sonny! Yikes, it's time to get back to the cabin. What? Oh, my! It's quarter to orange. Time for Pappy to leave. I think I'll go visit my new friend at Color Mountain. Bye, boys and girls. See you next time. Bye! Hey, bye, Pappy. bye! Hey, Peppy. Yeah, what's green? Has six legs and likes to bug you. Doodlebug? Yeah, you didn't think you were going to get away without doing one of my undoable doodles here, did you? You really are a bug. Okay, undoable doodle, you say? Yep. Just watch me use my noodle to finish your doodle. I don't think you'll get it. All righty. Hmm. You won't get it. Look at this, boys and girls. Kind of looks like petals to a flower. Uh, or maybe you see some things that I don't see. That's okay. I see something. Uh-oh. There we go, doodlebug. Oh, boy. All righty. And I'll just do that, and I'll do that. And we'll put that there. I think I'm going to surprise them this time. Hmm. What do you got there? There you go, doodlebug. Oh, no! <laughs> he made a doodle out of me! I don't know how you doodle do it, Pappy. Bye! Bye, doodlebug. And bye, boys and girls. See you next time. Bye, Pappy. Your drawing to me, Pappy Druitt, P.O. Box 5004, Syracuse, New York, 13220. And don't forget to visit the Pappyland website for more fun.